James Ellison, JG Speedfit Kawasaki, and I'm number 77. The mission, just like every year, is to, is to win the championship. We've had two years now with the Kawasaki. Um, we've had some really, really good results with them. Podiumed a lot in 2014, 2015, had a few wins, and actually led the championship for a while, um, and had an unfortunate accident and broke my wrist. So um, that put an end to that, but we managed to fight through and end up third in the championship. So even with that broken wrist and a couple of broken ribs also that year, we still managed third. So the, the, the plan for me and the mission is to, is to go out there and fight for the title and, and try and bring that number one plate back for Kawasaki and GB Moto. Not get injured. <laughs> um, like I say, last year and the year before, I actually broke my hip as well. And um, I'm not really a, a big crasher, but unfortunately the last two times I have crashed have been two big ones. So uh, just stay on the bike, rubber side down and and uh, that's the only improvement we can make really. The bike's fantastic, team's fantastic, my whole crew are always behind me. I've got all the tools to do the job, I just need a bit of luck. <laughs> Highlight was probably the first win for the team, which was actually here at Donington Park, um, and it was the first race as well. So I'd say a combination of that and maybe my first double, which was the following race. Uh, I've never had a double before in my career, so they were sort of two very close highlights. Breaking my wrist, um, pro actually no, probably breaking my ribs because we were leading the championship at that point and it was just really unfortunate. I went out, the, out onto the qualifying lap first and just crossed the line to go pole position, tipped into turn one at Snetterton and it had just it had started raining. Um, there was no real warning, spat me off, the bike ran over me and, and we broke two ribs and I really struggled with that. It was um, kind of one of those hidden injuries where you know, there's nothing really from the outside, doesn't look like there's anything wrong, but on the inside I was really hurting for a good few races. So. That was the worst point really, was just being, you know, going from hero to zero in one round. Probably, I've got a picture of evidence of this, uh, I won the World Championship, World Endurance Championship back in 2004, um, and we went to Dubai Awards and we were all given a, a, they said, look, we'll meet outside at whatever time it was and we're all given these sports cars and sports bikes and you go and pick one. Well, I, I didn't get the memo what time it was and I'd gone for a pee and came outside and all the cars had gone, all the Porsches, Ferraris and there was a, a Kawasaki, funnily enough, Kawasaki ZX-10 sat there. Um, so I thought, well, I'll take that. And I had a pair of a T-shirt on, a pair of pants and trainers and a motocross helmet. And we had to go and ride 20 miles into the desert. So um, we had this big convoy going through, going out of Dubai City and I just thought it'd be fun to pull a few stand-up wheelies and rolling burnouts through the city of Dubai just in this t-shirt and a motocross helmet and um, looking back at it now it's probably pretty stupid to be honest with you. No, I'm not really big into music, I just like things that, that you know, feel good songs and depends on kind of what mood I'm in. If I'm driving I kind of like chilled out music, um, a bit of Johnny Cash if I'm going on a road trip, um, anything really, I don't, I don't really have a, a specific genre, I just like anything that whatever kind of mood I'm in that day I, I put, you know, put music on to suit it. Now, for relaxing, just spending time with my son. Uh, my little boy Ryder is just nearly two and a half now. Um, spending time with him and my wife is just the best thing ever. You know, there's a lot of stress and um, racing is 200 mile an hour, whether it's on track or in the garage or training in the gym, pedaling your mountain bike, motocrossing. My whole life's at 200 mile an hour. So uh, for me, relaxing is just relaxing time with my, my wife and kid. I'm always open for fans coming up and having selfies, you know, getting a picture with the kids, signing babies' foreheads, giving knee sliders away, um, just anything, you know, I'm a really approachable guy, so uh, just come up and say hello, give me a kiss and uh, have a picture and that'll be it. <laughs>